Hmm. What's new in the world? Let's see. Yeah, I can't keep up with that, so we're just going to unsubscribe to it. Uh, let's move here. Yeah, unsubscribe to that. Ah, chess graph. All right. Uh, I got my curiosity. I have Python installed. Um. <laughs> uh, GitHub Desktop. Now, if I remember right, and perhaps I don't, yeah, I forked this. My fork is behind. Now, is that really the case, or is that just what I pushed to GitHub? Oh, sorry, chat. Let's get chat up. Clear. <sighs> so, chess opening graph. Good log master. Uh, yeah, okay. Get push my name master. Get that pushed. Get all caught up here. There it is. We're up to date. No, we're not. Somehow. Um, all right. Uh, get check out master. Get pull. Push. Try that. So, oh, we have some black and white images here. And if I refresh again, okay, now we're even. So I've caught up. I had started a branch here called Shoggy. Um, okay, check out Shoggy. Get rebase master. Oh, good. Let's push that up to the GitHubs. All right, check out. Um, yeah, okay. That all builds. Um, my branch is not under CI, but if I pie test locally, yeah, my Kifu parser does parse. Um, faster than the PGN parser, but that's because uh, uh, my test data is very small at this point. Um, so, oh, what? Okay, one ahead, not seven behind anymore. That makes sense. Now I recognize he changed the name of the thing to chess graph. I'm not yet changing mine to Shogi Graph because this might change again. Um, all of my chess related live. Well, yeah, they all start with chess. This, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I added a Kifu parser that uses Shogi.kif, and Shogi is the Python Shogi library derived from Chess Shogi that was developed by Niklas. Uh, I forget who developed the Python Shogi parser. Um, but yeah, here's my test file um, that I found with the Python Shogi library. So I just copied that here. Um, it's only 100 something lines, or 200 lines long. Um, yeah, I renamed game parser to PGN parser. And so now our project depends on both Python Chess and Python Shogi. And I'm, I still haven't decided like if that's the direction this is going or not, if this is going to be able to parse both PGNs and Kifu, or if this is uh, it's just going to be completely Shogi only. Uh, probably I'll stick to the former. I'm not sure. Um... So yeah, my question was, if I check this thing out that I just coded, wouldn't it be nice if it worked? It's not going to work. 
Nothing I do ever works the first time. Oh, hang on. Um, do we refresh the list? Just opening graph. Clone. Okay. Oh. All right, an updated version of GitHub Desktop will be installed in next launch. That's good to know. Um, mm -mm. Oh, and I can switch my current branch to Shogi. All right, um, so now what? Uh, so there's got to be some way to run this, right? One or some number of changed files. Um, oh, right. So I was showing how I have PyTest here that works. Uh, can I show this in Explorer? All right. That was exciting and short lived. Um, Okay, can I get my Python shell up? I don't know um, how best to do this. Here, let's change directory to there. Um, right, there's my parser test. And from here, I want to do Py... I don't even know if I have PyTest installed here. That'd be kind of cool. Python if parser test. Okay. No module named Shogi. Yeah. How do you fix that? Oh, I have to install uh, Python Shogi. Install from requirements. Nope. Kidding. Requirements.txt. That's more like it. Hmm. <clears throat> so this library is supposed to take a PGN file and produce a chess opening graph. Um, and maybe I'll get this working and we could see something cool for Shogi. Uh, I'm using a dated pip version. Sorry. All right. Well, there's no error. I guess that's a good thing. Um, so how the heck do I use this thing? Pip install features, how to use the repo. Uh, run this command. All right, so from here, I think I want to spawn a Python shell. Uh, import chart. Okay. Chart graph. Um, kifs. Oops. I forget what the name of the file in the kifs directory is. Kifs that that kif. Okay, next step, depth default five. Yeah, whatever. We'll just use all the defaults. It's easier to run. Okay, this fails. This fails with reason. Parse file filled. P is equal to os dot. FS path expected a string 
or a path-like object, not an I.O. text wrapper. That sounds too familiar. What? How did I break it? Um, I suppose I could try the same thing here, right? Uh, Python, yeah, we'll run Python here. Import chart.py, import chart. Chart, there we go, it is imported. Uh, oh, first of all, that should be shogi graph, not chess graph. Uh, kif this its name in my buffer dot kif. Okay, so yeah, as I thought, this is just called shogi graph. That's also undefined. Um, interesting. Um, okay. Grab the chess. Well, that's exciting. Now, where have I done something wrong? This word chess is all over the place. Um, Yeah, that's not true. It's not available. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? Uh, weird. Um, opening analysis raw. Sir. Wait. Yeah, I need to leave that. These raw URLs as they are. That's a weird way to link your images to your project. But okay. Uh, Shogi. There we go. Uh, simple PGNs are not included with the repo. Um, Shogigraph.graph. Kif, this name, Kif, uh, Habu, Fuji, two thousand six, whatever. GIFs folder. All right, that's fine. Um, is there anything more to consider here? Um, 
PG unparser requires chess. Yeah, that's fine. Get log. Status. Get commit amend. All right. Um, so. Then chart. Apparently, chart is the main entry point. All right. Um, That pushed again. So this will start to look more and more like Shogi. Um, but more importantly for me, these will become readable instructions that maybe I can follow, maybe not. Uh, so here's my Shogi branch. The chess opening analyzer. By the end of this, I'll be able to read it again. The Shogi opening analyzer. There we go. Um, so let's try that. Um, in order to try that, I need to refresh my repo. Fetch origin. Uh, do I have some sort of shell utility installed to make this easier? Probably not. Changes. Oh, right. Yeah, fine. We could pull that. Um, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, repository. I forget how to nuke all local changes from this utility. It's so much easier at the command line. Oh, cancel, uh, discard changes. Yes, I am certain I want to discard changes. Where's the poll button? All right, well, for whatever reason, that's not discarding. That's pretty cool. Not. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. How did I do this again? Get attributes text equals auto. Could you show me, like, yeah, OK, this is what the file's supposed to look like. So if I add that, maybe Windows will stop screwing up my changes. 
Um, can I see an example of that so I don't do it wrong? Can I see an example? All right, there we go. Wait, is it asterisk text equals auto or is it text equals auto? I'm thinking it's asterisk text equals auto. Um, yeah, well, this is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, let's see. Bim dot get attributes. Not going to be any questions anymore about what to do with the line endings on this file. In Windows, they're supposed to be Windows file line endings. In Linux, there should be Linux file line endings. And that'll be that. Um, fetch origin again. Unable to access. There we go. We were able to access it after all. Um, see, I am super confused. Um, do I have whatever the name of the tool is? Git bash here. I do have git bash. Thank goodness. I didn't want to have to flail through this user interface. Um, so the path where my stuff is located is documents uh, github. Uh, branch delete shogi. Check out Shogi. Uh, status. Remove all the kifs. Device or resource busy. Okay, that's helpful. Device or resource busy. Right, I knew that. Device or resource busy. Well, what the heck could it be? Uh, quit. Okay, there it's removed. Git checkout shogi. Nice. Shogi. Uh, okay, I did the checkout shogi already. Um, so, Python. Permission denied. Lovely. All right. So we're on a really wonderful start here. Um, so we got GitHub Desktop, which actually now I know the path, so I don't need to go through that at all. CD uh, documents GitHub. Um, chess opening graph. Ah, Python, import chart, there we go, uh, step two, chart.graph, okay, um, kiffs, uh, whatever the name of the file is. Uh, 
this thing. This fails locally. And that error is probably reproducible from Linux, right? Um, Python import chart. Chart.graph. GIFs. Habu Fuji 2006. Okay, so that's not a Windows issue. That's both a Windows and a Linux and like every other environment. Um, I did something wrong in my program. Uh, so, what have I done incorrectly? Um, for game in parse file, FS path failed expected string, not text.io wrapper. Um, in split text. Let me think about that. It's not obvious to me what this refers to, and I could Google it, but I want to give this a couple minutes of thought first. Minutes, seconds, whatever. Um, parse file. Well, unquestionably, it's my code as opposed to something else that's failing. Um, so it expected a string or bytes or an OS path-like object, not a text IO wrapper. So that probably means I did something dumb in um, I don't know. Oh, shogi kif dot pi. Uh, do I have a shogi kif dot pi? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's the library I'm calling from the kif parser uh, dot pi. So for game in parser.parsefile kif. And kif here I expected to be a string. Is kif not a string? Uh, create game list. Create game list. Um, now I can go back here, search for kif. Parser, parse individual games, game, whatever, depth, etc. Form values. This is called from graph, database is equal to open database. So that's the mistake here. Um, is that for Shogi, that's not appropriate. Uh, let's see, because our kif parser handles things differently than pgn parser does. Uh, so, uh, python import chart. I've already forgotten the name of the file. Would have helped if I just picked one of my own kifu. Um, import chart chart dot graph that's not in this directory. All right. So there's a problem with the open function. Probably because it didn't like something about this file, even though it is a valid Kifu file. Um, with codex open, no such file or directory. Um, okay, let's try that again, maybe with relative path. That's not great. Um, Uh, okay, 
try this the hard way. Python import char. does keep a history, but it's not the most accessible thing ever. Chart.graph. Uh, this path. Uh, kif. Um, okay. File not found error. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a valid file path. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, unless I have to throw another shogi in there or something. Yeah, all right. Didn't think so. Wait, there is no kif directory. There could be a kif directory, but the, uh, it's called kifs, not kif. All right. Uh, import chart, chart dot graph. Um, HTTP request sent, waiting for response. Alright, uh, quit. So, and really I don't need the full part of that. This last part is more than sufficient because that is a valid file path. Uh, okay. Um, So the whole nonsense about database equals open database is not what I need. Um, all right, let's try this on Windows as well. In order to try that, we'll have to get fetch uh, origin. Have I not pushed my change yet? I've not pushed it yet. That would explain something. Um, all right. Uh, get fetch origin. Get reset hard origin shogi. All right. And from here, uh, well, the file's right there. But Python uh, import chart using the new chart.py chart.graph of gifs this. There we go. The Shogi opening graph. Woo! Check it out. The first five moves of the game. So each, because we had only one game in our database, um, this is what our graph looks like. It is beautiful. I'm just glad it works at all, but yeah, check that out. We have got our first Shogi utility thing working. Well, that's decent. Uh, how's the stream doing? It's not doing so well. All right, uh, what else can I focus on? I, I keep adjusting all kinds of stuff on my network to make the stream work better. Um, so lately I re-enabled the Nagel algorithm on my boxes to ensure that packets don't hang on the network indefinitely. Um, there still seem to be some problems with uh, DNS, and I don't know what that is. 
caused by. Um, I should get Wireshark or something and try to figure it out. Now that I'm actually thinking, um, or cogent is the right word. So, yeah. Spiffy. We made ourselves a graph. Um... Oh, let's look at this on the githubs. Take a look at our commit. So we touched get attributes, readme, um, chart, kif parser, kif parser text, kifs. I think that's it. Oh, PGN parser got moved. Or renamed. Um, nice. Yeah, that looks fine. And it works, so... Next piece of this is figure out how the heck to get to work with um, multi-game GIFs, if that's possible. So we get a graph that's more interesting. I'm trying to zoom in, and this tool, whatever it is, um, there's some interesting, or Plotly, P-O-L-T-L-Y, uh, has some interesting properties in terms of zooming. So every time I try to zoom with the browser, it zooms back out. You can download this plot as a PNG, a portable network graphic. So there's the Shogi opening graph. Are you kidding me? I should be able to zoom in image windows. Yeah, there we go. There's our Shogi opening graph, complete with all the openings that were contained in this file. Now, you'll notice that, like, that doesn't look like uh, what you would normally expect to find in a Shogi notation. Ah, uh, so what you are more accustomed to. Uh, even minus the Japanese markings. Um, 81 Dojo. Let's go back here. Enter. Enter again. Just keep entering until we're in. Okay. Let's get something of interest up here. Um, there's more than one reason to have this Leech STV board. I think that'll block the password field. I can't see. Yeah, okay. That does conceal the password field, believe it or not. It's pretty spiffy. Let's move it back. Um, so yeah, if we go look at a game record, I forgot I had the speakers turned up. It's kind of noisy for you guys. You're going to hear an echo. All right. So yeah, if we're looking at a game record, like here's the most popular game record that three people are looking at. Um, here it is. And... There's a letter, and then a dash, or an asterisk, and then the target square. So, that's the sort of thing that I'm going to want to emulate sometime over here. I don't suppose I could have both of these up, so... And I don't suppose I could have this large enough that you could discern the difference. So, yeah. That's the difference. The notation here. I mean, I could show you the board behind it. For, oh. I guess this only gets so small. Windows won't let you make its windows whatever size you want. 
But yeah, this is what the uh, Kifu looks like without any translation. So, at some point, a uh, translator would be useful. Um, I might do a long algebraic notation thing first, which would be remember what piece is on what square. Huh. Yeah, this, this has me questioning what's going on. But regardless, the point is that the game record looks different. Um, um, so, I could have that going in the background, I guess. Um... I suppose I don't need to have two copies of the same thing open. Well, this one's... Oh, there's a full... Yeah, it does everything other than the one thing I want an image tool to do, which is um, be able to display the image in whatever resolution I desire. Uh, so yeah, we produced a graph. Um, so is there such a thing as a um, multi-game kifu? Um, uh, shogi game database. This is an open source collection of all Kifu. So I'm not sure uh, what the status of this is. They say there is a legitimate license for this. That's the claim. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure that I understand like what the source of this is. This claims to be an open source thing. For its original source code and license, the GNU Shoki, Shoki database. But that is a collection of Japanese chess games and sample openings. <sighs> so I'm not sure like what the legal status of these are. What I do know is that downloading this is not uh, or downloading is itself legal. It's distribution that is illegal. Um, but I am confused. Like, who authored this page? Back home. <sighs> Free online shogi app. confused. Sumigo are probably indisputable. Uh, Gene Davis is the author of this site. Oh wow. Although Gene Davis software ceased to do business on 13 September 2019, the resources here will be made available for as long as possible to the community. Like, what's... Gene, what's going on? Uh, 
George Hodges first learned Shogi from Trevor Leggett's book, Shogi, Japan's Game of Strategy. He felt Westerners would love Shogi. So arranged the creation of westernized Shogi sets and imported traditional Shogi sets from Japan. With the help of Glendon Townhill, he devised the common English Shogi game notation still currently in use. In 1975, he formed the Shogi Association. In 1976, he presented the World Shogi magazine, Hodge's own words, the first magazine printed in English and devoted entirely to the great chess game of Japan. He put together 70 professional quality issues filled with news and translated professional articles from Japan uh, through the subscriber base, or though the subscriber base never rose much above 150. Not only did he run the magazine, but he financed tournaments and the Shogi Association. He lent a great deal of money uh, without receiving anything but a small financial return. Uh, Hodge's efforts can only be described as philanthropic. He wrote in an issue 70 at the 1987, I think I have shown the way in which Shogi should be propagated. It is now up to others to take up this mammoth task if they have the will to do so. I dedicate this set of Shogi articles to George Hodges. He was a driving force behind Shogi popularization in the English-speaking world for an entire generation. George's efforts with the Shogi Association and Shogi Magazine brought shogi news, strategy, history, and variants to those not privileged enough to understand Japanese in a pre-internet world. In the few correspondences that we had, I found him helpful, or friendly, helpful, and dedicated to spreading knowledge about this beautiful game. Okay, so George Hodges seems like a phil philanthropist. Um, doesn't answer the question about who Gene Davis is, or what they're doing with this site. Okay, news. I'm going to update my mirror. The whole thing's a bit of a scramble because my current host is serving up someone else's pages 50% of the time due to their technical difficulties. I'm mirroring everything to this site as a precaution. If things go well, we can upgrade uh, fun historic games. Putting together a site of historic board games you can play in your browser. Um, first up is Tori Shoki, also called Bird Chess. Um, Fall in the historic games site. Like, how many sites does he know about or maintain? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Read more. Is more written here? T. Gene Davis. All right. He's got a Sume puzzle book on Amazon. Author and creator of web games. So, okay, that's his business, is he's a web game developer who's no longer in the business of developing web games. Um, and these are the sorts of things that he puts on his Twitter feed. Um, or if he's the one posting to it, this is what he's doing. If somebody else has hijacked it, I have no idea. Um, so Gene Davis seems to be a historian, I guess. I'm so confused why... I'd love to play a game of Shogi, but I don't have time. I'm confused. Like, this is beautiful. I can read these pieces. Every, like, other piece set is impossible to read for me. The Western 
set that Hidechi produced is pretty good too, but I can kind of read this. So if there are five of this, this must be a pawn. This is certainly a gold. This is a king. This is a lance. This is a knight. And this is a silver. Um, now I do have a bit of context because I have seen this Mino castle before, but this is like the best artistic rendition of a Mino castle that I have seen. Um, I would like to know more about the artwork and such here, if you can give credit to anybody other than, well, you do frequently give credit, but my goodness. <sighs> That's really cool. Yeah, I'm interested in making a Sume Shogi producer thing. My cat prefers to play Ranging Rook. In fact, all the pieces tend to range very quickly with her paws on the board. So, yeah, I don't understand his deal. I can understand, like, why he's overwhelmed. Five shogi tips for novices. Watch out for drops. A sitting king's a sitting duck. Learn to move your rook. This one took me a while to figure out. Uh, play regularly. So... I have... Just why? Why is he the face of online shogi in America? I don't get it. I guess because he put the effort in to upload something. Um, now he probably had other reasons he did that. Play Shogi Online. What is this link to? This links to his thing. I am so confused. He's written his page in a way to be confusing. Um, where he links to many interesting facts. He links to valuable databases, which he may or may not have license to publish. I don't know. Um... Really, my question was, like, could I download... Oh. Yeah, so this is, like... I was curious if a database contained more than one Kifu entry. And it seems like a Kifu collection is just a whole bunch of Kifu files. And you can't put them together. Um, see, I don't know if he has license to share this. Um, yeah, and so he's not invented a database. He's, uh, each file is its own separate thing. For those curious about the GNU Shogi database, which I assume is more legitimate than this is, uh, oh, that's just a download link. It doesn't even navigate you to a GNU page. I'm so confused why GNU produced this thing, and then I've never heard of it, despite some degree of searching. Um, so there's the license called copying. Let's try WordPad. Okay, GNU license version 2, that seems legitimate. Um, Let's extract this to this folder. All right, and then from here, Java. How do I even run this thing? Do I have to compile this from source? Do they really not provide a compiled jar file or something? 
This is amazing. In several ways. Okay. We have an empty text file. That's cool. There's the older version, I guess, in C++. He's got class files, he's got Java files. He's got some proprietary data format, something or other. Um, I am so confused what's going on in this project. Okay, fine. You've convinced me. It's a graphical browser for Shogi games. Um, they recommend that we surf to Peter Stoughton's Shogi pages. Okay. 404 not found. Okay. Um, Internet Archive. Let's go there, put in a URL, see if this ever got archived. Well, it's still archiving these days, but let's try 2013 for, for good measure. See if the site was up like seven years ago. That site was not up if I go back to 1999. Is that far enough back? Welcome to the wonderful world of Shogi. All right, let's keep trying newer versions then. 2000. I mean, how much is Shogi going to change in a year, right? Uh, let's try this year, whatever. Not found. Let's try back here. File not found our permissions to, oh. Well, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, fine, we'll just stick with this version, I guess. 1999. Okay, so the site has moved to some other site. And then shogi.net has moved again. Welcome to shogi.net. Okay. So shogi.net is still up. All right, well, that was a bit of searching. Um, so they had a sponsor for some events. Uh, but if I look at the previous, oh, whatever. At some point I stopped caring about this site that is historical. Um, maybe I should care more. But okay, this is shogi.net that has the Netscape search something choice. Editor's choice. All right, that's beautiful. It was last updated 1 January 2012. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. All right. Well, this is a thing. Um I still don't know if they had license to share any of this. Ah, uh, Shogi lesson schedule. Not planned yet. Apply your question. Oh my goodness. This is pathetic. Um... 
There is some value in it, but oh my goodness. The Shogi discussion list. We could send email. Alright, I can't read this. That's too much. Even this is a, quite a bit. Guide Shogi openings. So, updated. Oh, it's we got some updated opening theory, guys. All right, did this have uh, content that just failed to render? Um, can I see my console, perhaps? All right, uh, my console doesn't have any errors, but I'm missing content. Yeah, I don't know where all the content went. Primitive climbing silver. Inspect. Is there something on this page? What's this page supposed to look like? View page source. Oh, there's a diagram here. An applet. That's what's supposed to load. First, the primitive climbing silver is often used by beginners. How do you play against white's pawn to bishop e or 8e? Defending the head of the bishop by moving up the gold, this is the right answer. Yeah! Oh my goodness. So, yeah, the problem here is that you need an applet that runs uh, this class. Um, there are two things wrong with that. One, well, okay. Um, I do admire, though, like, they made some effort to separate the data format and um, the rendering utility. Um, so this is me going on an expedition trying to find whether or not uh, Kifu files can contain multiple games, and if anybody's tried to do that before. Uh, best as I could tell, there have not been efforts in that area. But also, this is amazing. Um, that we discovered, like, this applet if only your browser can support running an applet and if that applet has a code and that code has the word oh i'm sorry that is a java construct dot class for a second i was thinking that had something to do with c plus plus and that had me doubly concerned there's only one thing wrong and that's just that the applet doesn't load um but okay that took us on kind of a wild goose chase um, let's see, what else? I wonder, can you guys, yeah, you can see everything I see. That's fine. Huh. Right. GNU Shogi Database is a collection of Japanese games and sample openings. Hundreds of Shogi Kifu have been documented. The original records, etc. However, the web browsing industry has discontinued support for Java applets. This makes browsing the collections trickier without a little help. So. Um, that still doesn't mean that whatever the heck was hosted on that other site was legally hosted there. That I don't know. Tweet me. Yeah. Great idea. Wait. Hidechi has done great work. 
Where it's somewhere on this, it said Hidechi a second ago. But yeah, George Hodges, definitely the forward thinking thinker here. Um, and I guess I'm following in his place, although I'm terrible at shogi. Um, and I'm probably not going to get very far, but I can try. Hmm. So yeah, this browser referenced by that source code. Um, it's not going to be our road to success. Contents or contents. Download. Help. News! Exclamation point by Matt Kesters. Oh wow, that's a an actual email URL. I guess that's from when everybody was comfortable using email and sending having their emails be known by everybody. Um new Shogi database project. Alright, so I can't read this in this form, but we can can view the page source. Store shogi games in the database that can be consulted by people on the internet, and makes things easier for people to learn about professional games, etc. That doesn't mean that you have a legal source of professional games. Um, if you're trying to get games from Japan, that probably won't work. If you can find sources that are legal from maybe the States or Europe or somewhere else, that would be a different deal. Um, Sumus solver still drops made with a pawn. Internet Explorer doesn't react, etc. Software do I need? You need Netscape versions 3 or 4, Microsoft Internet Explorer version 3 or 4, and the Applet Viewer from the JDK. It's written in version Java, Java version 1 and should run on any Java enabled. Hmm. Please inform the authors if this is not the case. So I've got a Java 13. Does this code still run in Java 13? <laughs> take out the applet part. I'm just curious. Uh, what would it take to get the code working again? I'm not curious enough to do anything, but I'm just morbidly curious just how bad the wreckage is. Um, so these are features. Um, well... This project does have a license. Oh, this is intended to be usable without an internet connection, but still requires the browser, I think. Java server. Wait. There are a few things left to do. Write a Shogi tutorial and further development of the Shogi engine, or use somebody else's Shogi engine. Okay, this is just insane. Um, that they went through such effort to document things in an era where uh, professional developers would document things. Um, I did not expect to find that level of detail, especially given the effort that went into decorating this site and making it readable in a browser. Um, so, <laughs> Patrick Davin's Shogi Nexus is loaded with game scores and he got permission to add them all to the database. So this I want to pursue course that wait um so let's go back to the internet archive show me this page 
please let this be a valid reference. Because all I'm looking for is just give me some way to uh, give me a source that's legal for shogi games. 1999. How about here? Okay, how about, for some reason, this site was popular on February 13, 2005. All right, it's down. How about this version? It's down. How about this version? There we go. Shogi Nexus. Now, this doesn't mean the person that, like, this custody of um, permissions might only go so far. Okay, so this is the this is a source from which the other things are sourced. So Patrick Davin, he may or may not have had permission from the respective parties to get that distributed. I really don't know. Um, can we find more information about this Patrick Davin here? To see how it is that he got permission? Oh wow, a large 30 by 30 board, that sounds terrifying. Who is this Patrick Davin? Does he still run Shogi Nexus? Um, well. So I don't have to distribute the game files if he keeps do if he's the one distributing them I don't have to that still doesn't answer the question of like how he got a legal copy of the game scores doesn't take a tremendous amount of imagination to provide, produce that game format. Um, wait. P.S. Okay. Interesting. So this is... I guess considered a PSN format file, and it does support multiple games. There we go. Um, Okay, I see. So, notes by Shogi Nexus. So, they did annotate the games as well. Um,. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that the notes by some other source um, that refers to a link that might be down. Priority of this particular ShogiNet site has been to keep the site up and functional. And that one comment I read um, was 
comparatively brief. Um, player profiles. Alright, um, Suma Shogi Q&A. Yeah, so, doing this research, <sighs> I'm just not convinced that, like, this person gave permission to that person who gave permission to another person to distribute this stuff. Uh, George Hodge is obviously a philanthropist, but that doesn't mean that whatever vision he had is carried out by his successors. Uh, search with Google. The, uh, the Shogi Association. Um, oh, wow. PDFs of the magazine, as well as other books and games, are still available from his wife, Angela. Uh, well, that's a thing. Come on. I'm not impressed. This is a good story. What it needs is if anybody had contact with this person, like they should share his materials um, to the extent that he wanted them shared. The fact that they published a magazine, I think he'd want the magazine shared books and other things i'm not so sure because those um yeah i don't know ay 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 oh plus if i'm searching for something i should search correctly for it Yes, there's only the one reference. Um, uh, Dai Shogi, Kyoto Shogi. Anyway, from the catalog listing, costs uh, 195 francs or pounds if you live in England, etc. I don't know what the material of the board is. I just did create his own board in pieces with a stamping machine. Here's the inscription, etc. So, game is ridiculous there are hundreds of pieces and the board is enormous it took around 32 hours to play when a japanese tv show tried it i would like to see that episode i want to see all 32 hours of that episode um yeah i am curious now Goodness, we're on one tangent after another, after another. Taikyoku Shogi. So this is what the game board looks like. For that size of a wooden board and stuff, I'm not sure, like, there's a lot of things I'm not sure of, but... 
Wait, what? You are kidding me. Listed below are the pieces used in Taikyoko Shogi. If they promote, what pieces they promote to? Starting with the first row. Holy crap. Okay. I lost count of how many pieces that is. Uh... Hmm. I understand now why this is so expensive to make. I do not understand how anybody learns to play this game. Cheapers. All right, so that's not what I was looking for. I feel kind of bad for him that like his wonderful idea went bust in a sense. Um Hmm. All right, so there's Dai Dai Shogi, there's Kyoto Shogi. Whoops, did not mean to click that. Let's browse images. Okay, yeah. So this is what a real set looked like. Um, interesting. That looks like a nightmare. At least for a beginner like myself. Um, presumably somebody can make sense of this. Uh, but, wow, he had quite an investment to produce all that. Yeah, and then there's uh, Kyoto Shogi. Kyoto, or whatever. Uh, so, what else? I could assume goodwill. I could assume that the they actually have license to distribute the things they say they do. Um, so yeah, the question has been answered, perhaps satisfactorily, perhaps not, about um, whether or not it's legal to share that. Um, I wasn't completely satisfied, but maybe you are. Okay, that game has ended. It's always the games that have ended that have the most spectators. Um, but okay, that's just discovered by clicking news here. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. Are there any games distributed with this? I hope not. So I could just take this copy it, put it into uh, where? Documents. Oh, sorry. Users. Gaming. Documents. GitHub. Here we go. Paste. And then CD up a level, CD um, and try to revive this in some way. Uh, get init. Status get add dot um, uh, get 
reset dot status cp what was it just opening graph dot get attributes all right get add dot here get status um import from or I'm sorry, import, and then I could state wherever the crap I got this from, uh, which was somewhere. Um, I mean, I could search the internet to see if this is available elsewhere. Shogi database. Copy link address. Paste. Get log shows this is where we got it from. Get push. Um, right. So, um, GitHub Desktop. We should be able to switch to GSD. Uh, okay. I guess that didn't quite work. Just opening draft. Get remote V. Um, remote add origin paste. Except that's not what we're calling it. Two seven four. <laughs> Push set upstream origin master. Are you kidding me? All right, one second. Got to go blank out the screen. So, be right back. Mike, Mike. Okay, there's the mic.
7.4. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Oh. So I should give credit again. Let's see. Edit website. That. Okay. Well, it said it had a license. Um, Encoding overloaded, consider turning something. Um, but yeah, basically this is saying that we're still dropping a ridiculous number of frames. Presumably because we can't keep a gigantic buffer. Um, and just frames are being dropped left, right, and sideways. Um, but yeah, this is uploaded now, the GNU Shogi database. Um, I only had to sacrifice one altar of animals to get that going. Um, um, so... Yeah, um, not really sure what to do about all that, but at least this is archived in a very public way um, so that it's not lost. It's just surprising to me. Um, how many things are lost due to lack of archival effort. Maybe in another life I would have been a librarian. Who knows? Uh, oops, didn't mean to close that immediately. Um, so, for whatever reason, GitHub's not recognizing capital copying as a license file. It does, on other projects, recognize a um, license file, which is supplied as a... Like, here's Stockfish. Somehow it finds this GPL in the repo. Copying.txt. All right. Fine. Um, get status, get move, copying to copying that text. Uh, name, license, file for uh, easier discovery. Wow, am I really going to have to specify a password every time I push like this? I guess that's the most secure way to do it. Um, I don't know why I refreshed this page. This isn't the one I just pushed anything on. Okay, GPL2. Um... Let's see, so we have this index.html. Okay, that's not particularly helpful. Um, about to read me.md. So, I'm going to see how much uh, markdown I know. 
Vishogi, the Ganoush, actually, um, HTML to mark down converter. Is this online? Yeah. Let's not quiz myself if we don't have to. Convert. Whatever. Oh, some of this was lost. That's not perfect. That is... Uh, it's a good demo, but... All right, HTML to mark down. Not entirely sure if the home page is still available. Paste. Wrong. Let's try that again. Paste. New Shogi database project. So I got at least some of that wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, the, um, uh, pictures about add, read me, get, add, read me. Push. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. What is GSDB anyway? <sighs> there we go. He also has a home page. 404. Yeah, I did didn't imagine this would be up, but I was optimistic. Uh, archive.org. Well, he had a home page at some point. Was it up in 2005? No. Was it up like five years before that? Maybe. Welcome to Matt's homepage. Was it up in October 2000? Whatever. Um, so that's a valid URL. Was it up at this point in history? Nope. What happened in the year 2000 that made Shogi disappear off the face of the earth? I don't understand. Uh, what about the year 2000 made Shogi just disappear altogether from the Western world? just to make sure. All right, all right. And over here. 
He also has a home page, tilde. All right, whatever. Beautiful. <laughs> I am so confused. This page was made with VI. Download. The GNU Shogi database. 100% uh, pure Java. Oh my gosh. The European Championships 1997. Ugh. We are back in the 90s, folks. This is something. Okay. Um, wow, there's a lot of links down at the bottom of this page if you scroll through it. Um... So we've got another person's homepage, which almost certainly is down, or permissions deny access, whatever. There's a Java Shogi server. This page is moved to shogi.he or something. Multi uh, network multi user Shogi. And I just have to learn Japanese to... No, okay, here's the English URL. Java Shogi. It's an online multi-user Shogi game. Uh, okay. This is unbelievable. Oh, my. Um... Makes no warranties regarding its source. This is the BSD license. The, we don't warrant that the software works. Um, <laughs> oh, it should be pronounced Jawa Shogi instead of never Java Shogi. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm so confused. Wait, if I download the standard version, am I actually going to get a file? I didn't think so. Um, yeah, this is some sort of interactive page or something. I can't find. Um, yeah. Permission denied or something like that. So the alternative with wider bandwidth is over here. Wow, this the fact that like Peter Hodges ceased really damaged the entire community that he it wasn't guiding at all um, this is much too unfortunate um yeah i'm not going to be able to recover this stuff i was curious what happened here but there's only so far i can go down uh, the rabbit hole with that um, my question was, were the games legally licensed? Um, so this site might have either moved or removed um, this content. So one of the things is moved. Yeah, I think um, we'll 
What do I know? I'm just amazed, like, the Internet Archive has so many things. Um, so, the GNU Shogi database is not lost. Might be forgotten, but not lost. Um, let's see. Oh wait, here's a name I could search for. Matt Casters. Search all GitHub for this name. Users. Okay, um, interesting. I'm not sure if this is the same Matt Casters is the problem. I mean, it's got to be. How many Matt Casters can there be? But, um, hmm. <laughs> Rather, how many software developer Matt Casterses can there be who work in Java? Oh, instead of searching through everything, although doing this is giving me some idea of what he does, um, instead of doing this, I could just filter for Shogi or GSDB or something like that. Um, senior data architect ibridge.be now is that the same I mean, iBridge and INNet. If I could connect the dots between INNet and iBridge, that might be useful. Um, so, yeah, I'm mostly certain this is the right guy. Recent comments. Commit, comment. Get push. Um, so, if I'm correct, and if I'm not, like, he can correct me on it. Um, oops, well, um, okay, fine, I can link to his user profile without using that. Uh, so here's his user link, copy link address. Then, I don't know why this didn't occur to me. Probably because I would have expected this other format to just work on GitHub, but uh, copy link address, paste.
add readme git commit amend reset author git push f push that again this time hopefully it'll link, link to the correct URL there we go bingo checkmate all right so that's biffy uh, this link is dead so to find out more about uh, Peter Stoughton's Shogi pages This is not Peter Stutton's Shogi Pages. Uh, okay. Well, that's just not discoverable then. Um, we're going to have to remove said uh, content here. Um, <laughs> uh, Well, guess what? We got a new best friend. Uh, Shogi Harbord um, videos. There we go. Shameless plugging. Uh, Shogi Harbor. There we go. Congratulations. You are the most active participant. So you get credit for helping share Shogi with newbies. Um, there we go. There we go. I can't spell. Oh my goodness. Uh, har wow, I misspelled this in more ways than one. H A R B O U R. go there we go beautiful that'll do road to showdown Hurry. road to showdown it's very exciting uh yeah hidachi does wonderful work too um but um and his channel is good it just happens that Shogi Harbor is doing this extraordinarily useful thing in teaching new people. So, not to detract at all from the work the Hidechi does, but um, uh, but yeah, Carolina um, is more accessible at the moment. All right, so. to steal this
copy, paste. This really merits mentions, so that's why I mention it. Now, surely there must be other more appropriate references. Hot edges uh, show. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Uh, so I have been live for quite a while. Interesting. So, George Hodges Shogi. Um, It's incredible that, like, you would think this person's name would be uh, documented. Umpire, theologian, soldier, diplomat. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Um... Yeah, no, that's not right. None of that's correct. So, uh, that memorial is the most information that we publicly have about him. Um, add dedication. Push take a look at how that looks on the site. Yeah. Perhaps some of these other things could be linked. Um uh, Um, it didn't format correctly. Add readme, get commit, amend. 
reset the commit time and re-push and re-re-push and hopefully this will take there we go because his sights are someday going to go down um, So I'm going to make sure that that legacy is not forgotten. So that's interesting. Um, now I'm curious, should I leave the year number up here? Yeah, no, it makes sense to leave that here. I'm not so sure it makes sense to mention it twice, but I'm copying literally from Gene Davis, so I'm not going to change that text unless there's some improvement I can make, um, such as linking some of these things. It'd be nice if somebody could figure that out, um, but okay. GNU Shogi Database 2.7.4. I'm probably not going to be making very many changes in here because this is written in Java 1, I think. And even if it's in a slightly newer version, as committed as the developers were to backward compatibility, I'm not sure that this would work. Like, I just, what did Java even look like back then? Okay, I think I see. It's been somewhat instructive for me. I could get this working, but would it be worth it? I doubt it. I am so doubtful. Wait, what is this? The zip file. Does this contain everything that's in the repository? Or is this an installer or what? Oh, okay. At least it's not malware, he says after opening it. Um. That'd be one heck of a place to stick a Trojan. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Huh, what is this? Get dot .txt format. And this resembles long algebraic notation. So that answers my question. Somebody has done this before. They have stuck um, multiple games into a single file. Okay, well, that's reassuring. Uh, so yeah, these games did not originate from Japan, so there's the possibility that they are, um, well, the license here is, where's the license? Yeah, GPL2. So whoever distributed this in the first place assures that it was legally licensed and I take their word on it. And if I end up being proven wrong, I could take it down. But that's crazy. All right, is this linked to something? No, that's down too. All right, so 
I suppose I should find some um, credible source saying what shogi is. Like this shouldn't be hard. Not that now that we have Wikipedia. Shogi. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think there's even a way to link to a wiki or something that's hosted on GitHub, but good enough. Uh, it was linking to a commercial site. Now it's linking to a different semi quasi commercial something. Um, So, yeah, it's a graphical browser for shogi games. Um, all right, uh, it still doesn't really answer the question about the graphical browsing aspect of it. Um, so, let's see. That was a diversion and a half. Um, so we produced a shogi opening graph. Uh, what more could we need? So, oh, right. So I wanted to take a look and see if I could execute any of this. <laughs> like, there's no way it's going to work, but... Um, is there an executable form of this included somewhere in all of this madness? Or is this all browser-based? Like, what's the architecture of this thing? Pictures. Oh, there's the glyph I've been searching for. Yes, yeah, so these are all the icons. 9 1. Okay, 9 2 1. Fine. Fair enough. This is amazing. Okay, so. Yeah, whoever produced this claimed it was all licensed under GPL. I'm reusing. I'm sorry, this is developed by Matt Casters, so he was the one um, who claims that this is legal. As for why it got taken down, I don't know. Um, So I could do some more research to see if I could find more about the history of this project. Um, time permitting, of course. Click this link. For a database of all 1,000 plus games. Here's a small FAQ with documentation and tips. All right. Um, Logo.html. 
All right, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what more to say. News.html. What does this read? Dear Shogi friends, it's been a while since a new version of the GNU Shogi database came out. So this time I wanted to make something special for you. The one thing that bothered me the most is the last couple of months, the terrible layout of the client. So since I was rewriting the complete game tree code, I gave the layout some work too. Also, the need for a variations window had become so clear and Thomas kept telling me to write something that in this version, it replaces the score window. <sighs> to make things easier for the poor programmer, I rewrote the complete game tree. I'm sparing the boring details. A lot of work still needs to be done in the variations department, but the skeleton's there to add functions in a decent way. From the database perspective, the big news is that we almost doubled the size of the database. Over 1,670 games can now be consulted in the blink of an eye, a slow eye, I admit. The people that really deserve credit for this are Thomas Majewski and Patrick Davin. Thomas did a great job entering around 70 game scores from the last few European amateur tournaments. Thomas, you saved us a lot of work. Patrick Davin's Shogi Nexus website is loaded with game scores and I got permission to add them all to the database. Thanks to the very good quality of the game scores, the uh, conversion of HTML files to games took less than a week. The only problem I found was that not all games had a date, but I solved this by using the date 01 Jan 1970. I will correct this as soon as I can, but it's going to be a huge job to make the database more consistent. People using the firewall, etc. Um, I included the open game file option in the file menu. This will uh, allow you to read files from the web server. Oh. That's cool. Wow. Oh dear. That's quite the name, isn't it? Uh, last thing I want to mention is from now on the database is, has a new field specifying for each record when it was updated. For all the old records, the dat date is this. Um, this will allow you to look for new records in the database. Use the What's New option in the search menu and select Update Today, This Month, or Update This Year. Enjoy, Matt. Oh boy. Well, that's exciting. Um, so that's the chain of custody for um, the rights of the database and the rights to include it. All right, uh, let's see, back home. See, I don't know about this site. This other site is something else. Um, um, if he gave, if it were more apparent how attribution were given to sources, um, I would more freely link to this stuff. This is cool though, but I'm just not sure, especially given like he's got a motive, like he does web game development. He has some profit motive to keep the site up and running. Um, not that he makes any money from this, but it could help him advertise his other stuff. So there's more incentive for him to keep things up than to yeah he's I'm in a kind of a situation where I don't profit in any way from any of the stuff I'm doing here um, the only profit I get is being able to talk with the cool people who teach me more about software development um, and about shogi but I really don't get any uh, recompense for what I'm doing Does this work? Now I want to know. Oh wow. What the hell? Okay, is this gonna defeat me? Um guess not. 
Yeah, let's promote. But that didn't crash. We're on a roll, guys. Just keep taking the stuff. Uh, hang on, we've got a rook here. Yeah, let's promote the rook. Uh, let's take the gold. Let's take the rook. Okay, he took it. Uh, let's place the rook. No, not in the way of a capture. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Thankfully, I can take that, but I was super spooked for a minute. Oh, right, it has to promote again. Um, so we got one promoted piece. We got something in hand here, right? That's a silver. Uh, we've got a gold in hand. Let's drop the gold. Kaboom! You've won! Congratulations! Beautiful. Uh, I can't mock too much. This actually works very well. Um, I'm not sure about the licensing and any of that stuff, but it worked. Okay, well, that was exciting. So, I did find a Shogi database that contained multiple game scores in the same game file. Now, that's not the popular file format. Um, and further, I don't really know if I'm the only one using such a thing. Whoa, 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 that's cool. That is clever. Oh, it's silver here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why you would pick a gold by default. Yeah, silver gives you more running opportunity. Oh, but there's still not enough. All right, so it didn't matter. Now, what flag is this? Thailand. I see. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, this site recommends that if you wish to improve in shogi. The site recommends you study from the front, uh, from the first moves through to the rest of the game. And that's just the cultural thing, uh, at least for the site, probably for more than just the website. If I had to guess, that's um, a cultural thing that's always been that way. So you don't get attached to the result, but you're able to just go through the game from beginning to end. and make some interesting observations along the way. In Western culture, we are taught uh, if you want to improve, you've got to master the end game first and then work your way back to the opening. That's a different culture. Um, so. Um, what more can I say? Yeah, this is... I'm actually impressed this is still up and still working. Despite him claiming he discontinued his business, he kept this site up, which I'm impressed by. Um, I, I really don't know, like, what's up with Gene Davis' software. It ceased to do business last year. Um, did it provide some explanation as to why Gene Davis software closed? <sighs> Raytheon. News. Well... I suppose I'm not looking for genes or software, but Gene Davis software. Um, no news. Probably no videos. 
uh, if I put in all three of these words. Okay, that's weird. Ay, ay, ay. Splice machines, you see this. So, um, I did look at his Twitter. I'm just hoping I can find anything else about him. I guess, um, Hmm. <laughs> okay, what's the deal here? <coughs> Excuse me. This has got to be the guy. There can't be too many people with a shogi shaped piece in their profile that are named Gene Davis that have a focus on games and that reference Gene Davis software. Um, he's got six repositories. Written in Clojure and Clojure Script. Oh, he did. This does have an open source license. Oct icons. Built by GitHub for GitHub. Okay, well, I don't really know what that means. Bubble Diagram API. Wasn't working when I started with the base of files, etc. I'm making these changes so I can integrate into my mod for tool for make area and room creation easier for admins. Ah, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, Sandy admin template. It's really the only thing of interest to me here is like what he's done with closure. Alpha beta pruning. This library should transfer should transfer over to closure script smoothly. Um, planning on adding more algorithms to this library. This is just a start. Here are usage steps. That's all. This is extremely easy to use. Closure script. Alpha beta library. Seven commits. Hmm. Hit score metadata. Well, that's pretty cool. Gotta give him some credit for figuring this out. Well, for that and the fact that he actually made this licensed. So, I probably don't want to prove, uh, probe too much deeper as to what the heck he's been up to. Um, okay, I can't really read this so easily. I'm not sure what this document is. No, thanks. About the author. Uh, okay. What's the document? Java and OS X. 
That's the name of the document? He authored this thing. What? Uh, what? I'm so confused. No part of this publication may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form, um, except as permitted under sections 107 or 108 of the 1976 Copyright Act, without either the written, prior written permission of the publisher, etc. So I'm guessing... I have a fair use for looking at some of this, but my goodness. I was just trying to find his name, see what he did. He wrote a book? I guess everybody was excited about Mac OS. His blog is now moved to his website slash articles. Shogi helps. Um, Shogi archive. Portable Shogi notation. PSN description. Wait, really? Where is the whole portable shogi notation article here? Oh, I just got redirected out of wherever that would have been located. Um, but yeah, portable shogi notation looks a lot like portable. Go, uh, what does PG end stamp? Game notation. Yeah. Um, Currently, I'm rewriting Shogi Samurai Chess to work with newer computer systems. The world of computing has completely changed in the last few years, as of 2014. I'll have an announcement when it becomes available again. Um, I'm not... My site list. Yeah, so this is... Wait, what? I've clicked on some of these other links already. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess he's done well enough with software somehow that he can afford to keep his site up and going. Um, again, I don't know where he got his games from. He didn't really say. Uh, but okay. We got the GNU Shogi database. Um, we produced an image of one Shogi game. Um, so I was able to run the software at all. Scaling that up to multiple games might take a little bit of effort, but, um, we did some research, found that there's two, at least, data formats, one PSN and two Kifu, um, the latter of which can way more popular, but doesn't apparently, in general, allow you to have multiple games in the same file. So, um, yeah. We made progress, we learned a little bit about everything. Watched a little Shogi too. So, I'm not sure what more we wanted here.